Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML of the Netherlands is the only supplier of the world's top EUV lithography machines and controls 90% of the world's market. TSMC, Samsung, and Intel cannot do without ASML, and China's domestic semiconductor industry cannot do without ASML either. However, the United States uses this as a weapon to continue to increase its control over lithography machines. Recently, it has joined forces with the Netherlands to put pressure on ASML to stop providing after-sales service. The Netherlands will face a dilemma, so how will ASML respond? In fact, the United States has also made some requirements for ASML sales and maintenance of Chinese lithography machines. However, under ASML's strong protest, the Americans also stopped. At that time, ASML's former leader Wenink had said in public that ASML would not stop selling and maintaining domestic lithography machines now. Later, ASML also told the Dutch government that the company was preparing to withdraw from the Netherlands. On the surface, it was aimed at the immigration problem in the Netherlands, but in fact it expressed its dissatisfaction with the Netherlands' continuous cooperation with the United States to relax restrictions. After all, ASML's position in the mainland is very important. In the past two years, the international semiconductor market has continued to be sluggish from supply to demand. Even TSMC has slowed down its production capacity and delayed production. Only the chip production capacity in the mainland is still accelerating, and the demand for lithography machines is also increasing. ASML can take the opportunity to produce more lithography machines. However, the United States directly intervened and continued to increase the supply restrictions on lithography machines. If ASML follows the relevant regulations of the United States, the Netherlands and other countries, ASML's revenue will definitely be greatly reduced. Although the United States persuaded the Netherlands, Japan and other countries to sign a trilateral trade agreement, ASML still seized this time and sent a large number of lithography machines to China. Judging from the sales in the fourth quarter of 2022, the sales of lithography machines have increased exponentially and the sales in the first and second quarters of this year are as high as 49%, becoming ASML's largest supplier. It is for this reason that ASML still maintains stable income in the context of the sluggish semiconductor industry. However, the United States is quite angry because ASML has sent more than 1,400 lithography machines to China. Even with the U.S. chip ban, China's chip industry is developing rapidly. It is in this context that the United States has reproposed the limitation of ASML's after-sales service. According to foreign news reports, such as the Financial Times, 
The United States has once again put pressure on the Dutch government to maintain the lithography machines made in China. At the same time, ASML's license will not expire until 2024, and the Dutch government will not extend it. The news quickly spread in the industry. The sales and maintenance of lithography machines is an extremely important task. It is a precise production process with a large number of vulnerable parts that need to be maintained regularly, otherwise it will not work at all. If the Dutch government limits ASML's after-sales service, the consequences will be very serious. The most important thing is, what can ASML use to give lithography machines to China? Can China still buy them from them as before? ASML must be more worried because it is related to ASML's revenue. In addition to the production of lithography machines, ASML's revenue also includes the maintenance of lithography machines. If there is no after-sales service, wouldn't the lithography machine become a pile of scrap iron? If this is the case, mainland Chinese companies will definitely not buy it. Therefore, the pressure on the Netherlands fell on the Netherlands. Between the continued pressure from the United States and the key industries of the Netherlands, the new leader of the Netherlands, Dick Scoff, made a very serious decision. Mr. Dick Scoff said that the economic benefits of the enterprise will be taken into account when determining the strict restrictions on ASML on China. From this point of view, the new Dutch leaders who also recognize this problem have shown that they have begun negotiations and expressed their financial interest in ASML and will consider other risks before making appropriate decisions. Some foreign media said that the situation of ASML has changed. Under the continuous pressure from the United States, the Netherlands is also making a dilemma. There is no conclusion yet, because there are only more than four months now, and ASML has reached the point of life and death. What China needs to do is to abandon this unrealistic idea, speed up research, and develop a higher level of domestic lithography machines as soon as possible.